councillor representing Clifton Ward. Thank you from Molly and Keith in some detail about the national perspective on air quality. And I want to talk in a bit more detail about our approach in Bristol. In Bristol, as you've heard, over half of our monitoring stations are showing key pollutants exceeding legal limits. Greens in the city have been actively campaigning for the council and now the Metro Mayor to take poor air quality with the seriousness that it deserves. In autumn last year, we launched our air quality campaign in the city. Firstly, we surveyed over 500 people and we got, got their views on air quality. Over half of those people said that their health had been affected by poor air quality. We launched a petition with 38 degrees called Let Bristol Green, calling for significant improvements in the city's air quality. This attracted over 4,000 signatures and the images of gas masks on some of the city's most famous statues drew extensive media and public interest. The level of public concern and the force of our arguments means that we were able to, we were able to propose a motion in November last year in the council which resulted in unanimous support from all Bristol's 70 councillors. The motion supported the five main planks of Bristol Green Party's approach to improving air quality and those are what Clive's showing there. So it's the discouraging of polluting vehicles from entering our towns and cities. It's promoting walking, cycling and public transport. It's cleaning up bus fleet. It's supporting taxes to meet clean emission standards. And it's promoting electric vehicles for car clubs. Being realistic, none of our activity so far has resulted in any improvement in air quality in places like this, which is one of the worst polluted parts of the city. But we've made a significant impact on public opinion, and the awareness of the problem in the city has very significantly improved. Greens are now well placed in Bristol to lead the change. Fee Hance is a Green Party councillor and our assistant mayor. She chairs the city's air quality working group and she's working closely with Mayor Marvin Reese and the new Metro Mayor, Tim Vold, should be working with him to implement the right air quality policies in a timely fashion. Improving air quality isn't just about the Me Too slogans that other political parties put forward. Bristol Green Party has developed robust, detailed policies which cover what the exact improvements need to be in the city to bring about the changes that we want and need. This means that Greens in Bristol will continue to lead the way in improving the city's air quality with the urgency and the understanding that this public health crisis deserves.